Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Chrome extensions and apps. So here I am uh, logged in to my Google account. You'll notice that I'm logged into Chrome um, and I am signed in to my account. Um, so extensions and, and apps are things that you can add to Chrome to make your life a little bit easier. Um, extensions hang out here in the upper right hand corner, this little puzzle piece. You'll notice that you do have some um, extensions already um, domain wide that you have access to. Uh, so let's look at this Kami extension for example. You'll notice that uh, I'm going to go ahead and pin that. So now you'll notice that it appears next to the puzzle piece. So if you want to use Kami now, there's a quick way to access that um, extension. Um, anytime that you can log in with Google, you want to go ahead and do so, so that you don't have another account that you have to remember a username and password to. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, and sign in with uh, my limestone310.org account. Now, oftentimes you will want to pause for a second and see what you are giving this um, company application uh, or extension access to. And so as you read through these, um, you can decide for yourself uh, on most of them whether or not it is something that you want to allow. Um, you do want to make sure that you're always aware of privacy policies of different companies uh, because it is possible that they're using your information um, and selling it to marketers. So. Uh, be careful um, allowing too much access to your accounts, okay? But that is how you can add, uh, pin an extension to um, your Chrome window. Again, you can click on the little puzzle, um, and then these are the ones that are automatically um, assigned to your Google account. And so again, you can click on the little pin, and that will add that then to your Chrome window so that you don't have to go into any menu uh, in order to find it. Okay. Now you may be thinking, well, I've heard about this extension, um, um, like Screencastify that I'm using to create this video. You know, maybe it's something that your teacher has asked you to do. Um, so all the way to the left hand side of your Chrome um, window, you're going to click on apps and then you're going to click on the web store. You will notice that right here over on the left hand side is where you can find those extensions. Uh, so Screencastify happens to be one um, that is right here and available. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Um, and again, this one I know um, is a, a good extension to add. So I'm not going to do too much research, but um, you will notice that you can read reviews. Um, you know, just like any other product before you want uh, to give something access to your account, it's not a, a bad idea to see, you know, does this app or extension really work? Um, are there people in the real world that have used it and they really like it? Um, so it is here in the web store where you can read those reviews. If you have any issues, you can contact the developers um, and you can see, you know, maybe you love Screencastify and you're like, oh, I really want to find uh, another app or extension similar to that. So you can always come in here and look at the related options. Okay. But I've decided that Screencastify is one that I do want to add to Chrome. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add to Chrome. And then you do have to um, add the extension. And again, you may think, well, what in the world just happened? Well, um, in the upper right hand corner, um, after I give it just a minute, I'm going to click on the puzzle piece and you'll notice that now Screencastify is here. So if you do want to actually use that um, extension, you can pin it. So now it does appear right up here at the top. Okay. So again, all of those extensions you can find um, in the web store, which you can get to by clicking on this apps button all the way to the left. Then you're going to click on the web store. Now, you as students um, at Limestone Community High School cannot just grab um, any extension that you want. Um, let's say you're like, hey, I want to go to a Netflix party. Um, if you click Add to Chrome, you will notice that it is blocked by your administrator. Okay. Now, if you find an app or an extension that you truly think um, is good and that maybe other students and other teachers um, may want access to, um, reach out to your teacher, reach out to our tech department. Remember that their email address is elearning at limestone310.org. 
Um, so if you find an app or an extension that you really um, think that you need and or want access to, remember that you always can reach out to your teachers or to our tech staff to get those unblocked for you. Okay, But again, if you want to do research, if you want to see what other kinds of things are available, you can do so right there. Um, the other thing that you can find here in your web store um, is all of these kind of um, shortcuts um, or apps. Maybe your teachers um, have shown you Quizlet, um, which is a really neat uh, flashcard creator. Um, and so if you click on Quizlet and you add that to Chrome, um, what that adding that application does is it adds it to your home screen so that now you have a quick link to it. Okay. Again, in the web store, um, that's what happens here under all of these. These are all quick links that you can add to Chrome. Um, if you're looking for an extension, you do want to make sure that you click on extensions on the left-hand side. And these 